Yeah, uh, good. Has, uh, uh, am I loud enough for you? Or if you, if I'm yeah, not yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's good. It's good. Okay. Good boy. If um, I am speaking too fast or anything, uh, tell me so I can slow down. All right, let me. Okay. Let me cool. share my screens. Can you see? Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm gonna run it. It works. I just have to reinstall my game. It's so dumb. Like okay. as soon as you do this, you have to reinstall your game like after. Oh, okay. Yeah, your thing is not working. Okay, let's see. Shadow Soul Hunter Kane. All right, let's see what you do here. I know how Kane works. I've practiced Kane. Like I know how to build Kane. I know how to when you pick whatever. So before you enter the game, you, you main jungle, right? Because I see here on your. Uh, I'm main mid, but I'm just uh got tired of mid, so I just changed to jungle. Mid jungle are the best two roles to carry with, so it's okay that you switch in between both roles. Uh, I see you play like a decent amount of ranked. It's like a hundred games. Like you're kind of stuck where you think you should be, but you can go higher because I see like these like giant like you know big KDAs and stuff like that. Uh, my recommendation is Dark Harvest is fine on Shaco. Uh, there's this one Shaco player that's like uh, he he should still be challenger. If you're looking to get more Shaco games, he's like challenger Shaco. Uh, where is he? He's, what is? But that? Shaco just got nerfed. Shaco sucks. Uh... <laughs> Shaco sucks. He did just receive a nerf. Yeah, this is not the Shaco player. He's like a jungle challenger or jungle master tier. And I was like, holy shit, he's crazy good. But uh, he's not good in every meta. So that's one thing. And Dark Harvest is just kind of weird. Um, on Kane, the other alternative option is Electrocute. It's it's your choice. Like, it's it's situational. But if you want to hard carry solo queue, uh, Electrocute is better because you get more damage in the early game. Because Dark, Har Dark Harvest... You need some stacks before you can equal out the damage. Like, like maybe, like, let's say you do five ganks, right? Five ganks yeah. with Dark Harvest, Electrocute's always going to win because it does more damage early. But then, yeah. eventually, Dark minutes. Harvest will win. You know what I mean? Minutes. Dark Harvest will be used. It's In it's the hard. early game. Yeah. It only works if you're playing, like, this, uh, do you know Demir, the Kha'Zix player? Yeah. Yeah, it only works until Diamond 5. And if you are significantly better than your opponents, and you know what bad players are. Like, he knows, he, he used to be challenger 900, but then he dropped because he only plays in, like, low elo. And he knows what bad players do. He follows their mistakes, and he can punish them because of his Dark Harvest. It doesn't work if you're climbing. It only works if you're smurfing. So there's a huge difference. So, oh, I'm smurfing. Huh? I'm smurfing. <laughs> okay. Let's yeah. begin the session. Um, or, well, the, the game itself. I gotta mute this now. <coughs> You don't okay. need to hear the sound because there's nothing really. I'm gonna hide their screen so we know what to see. There, come on, start, start. So we go. And you start red, which is fine. Somebody starts to invade your red. You can answer this. Attack. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Go. Okay. Yeah. This is really annoying. Go away. Okay. Oh my god. All right, Swain didn't have to do that. You you don't have to kill them right away because now that means that. There's two things you can do. First is you you're gonna punish the Heimerdinger. I know you should because this is really obvious why you should punish it. Um, if you have, <coughs> I don't see the in-game part, but if you track his timer, it's five minutes for his flash. Mm -hmm. Also, you need to protect Swain because oh my God, he started E. That's oh boy. So what you can do is here's here's my expected pathing because of what happened, but I'm gonna let it play out because your game plan coming into this map is that your priority should lie on top mid then bottom because bottom is really fragile and they're gonna die really fast you're also up against a um fiddlestick support he's gonna poke them down uh he has no potions you can see that uh when, when he appears in the lane if he has no potions you can gank him uh if they overextend their team comp zaya fiddlesticks is likely to push compared to lux ezreal so you have an advantage if you if you gank bottom if they freeze or they keep the late wave here Right, like right here, you can gank. If mid is under pressure, you have to gank because Swain has no flash. Otherwise, he dies. You can't let your laners die. Top lane yeah. has no enemy flash, so in priority, like I said, top over mid over bottom. That's your game plan going in. Should I have flash over over the war? Did you? Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Should I have flash for that for that kill? No, you don't need to. Because if you lose your flash in the early game. Uh, let's say that it's another jungler. Let's say that it was Graves or Kha'Zix. They can kill you and you lose everything. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's not, um... It's, it's not necessary to flash for the kill. Because 
even if you get it, you you have to recall, you have to buy your next item, then you go back and you're kind of behind in the jungle. Like, you can take it. Like, look, you didn't really need a flash, you just get the kill. There's no reason to flash for it. <laughs> because you, you, okay, so this guy has no flash. Let's say he pushes, because Heimerdinger, you know, he pushes faster than other other top laners, right? Like, Irelia has a hard time dealing with them. So his lane is probably going to be, instead of here, it's going to be here, right? But he's, he's Heimerdinger, so... You, you can gank him for free, and if he he tries to escape, you can still flash on top of him. Like, you have advantage. You have more pressure. He should be playing scared, so your Irelia wins by default, because Heimerdinger should be playing scared, because he has no flash. If he is dumb, which is where your Dark Harvest comes in, you do nothing, right? And then, like, he's like, oh, fuck, I can't do anything for five minutes, and he just plays it safe. So, it, it's... It's very, it, it's variant. You can just sit and farm all game and get Dark Harvest stacks, or you can make something happen around the map. This is why Electrocute would have been super good for you right here. Like, I personally think Electrocute, like, this six stacks is great, and none, at, at no point would your Electrocute would have made a difference there, but you would have had advantage if you had Electrocute in the early game if this hap if this situation repeated itself. You can't see that, because, like, it's not possible to predict the future, but judging by your lanes and the way they go, like, yeah. In, in terms of priority, you need to give I I Irelia some pressure first, then Swain. But you don't go in to kill the enemy laner for, for mid. You you go in so that Swain has breathing room, because he has no flash. If Yasuo hits level 2 and all-ends him, he, he Swain auto-loses. You yeah. have to know the matchup. Like, Yasuo makes Swain struggle if Swain has no flash, because uh, Swain is immobile. Bot lane is 50-50 because these guys poke each other all day, these guys just like throw shit at each other, and, and they just, it either freezes, it either pushes, or it goes back. It's probably gonna go back. So you can gank from top to bottom, like from here to here to here. Like it's very, you have a very straight path, you have a very good set of farming. I expect a lot, but I do, if you started blue, it's bad because it means that you're not puni you're not punishing this guy fast enough you know like he's he's gonna he's gonna walk back to lane he's like fuck i'm a little far behind because i had to I, I came back up late this is so easy also this guy this fucking heimer thought that he could steal your 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 blue buff from you that's not gonna happen man. So, <laughs> yeah. so good job look at that that's so lit all right and then you go this and then bang and you just take this this is definitely a good game for i want to say I want to say Red Cane is the better option, and the only reason I say that is because your team composition has better CC chaining. Snare into pull into knock up <laughs> from you, um, but Blue Cane is good for assassination, so it's really it's it's variant. I, I personally would think Red Cane is better, but it depends on what you get first. Nice. Just that I normally get Blue Cane every game. Mm -hmm. Like I just play for fun right now, not not looking for climbing, so. Mm -hmm. I just... Yeah, blue cane's pretty. Fun. Blue cane is fun. I'm not gonna lie. Blue cane is hella fun. Okay, this is a little risky. What, what, yeah, what is this happening? What what the fuck? Oh, he did. Uh, wait, no, 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 no. He did. Uh, he has eight. Creeps. Red and blue. Yeah, he like, did red to blue. You you have to. Time. Yeah, you have to see when you press tab. You like like you know the tab button. You just gotta check yeah. what CS he did. I I don't like it when people do red to blue. It just it just means that you're not gonna be three for a gank early. You kind of just secure your buffs for cheese. This is a good yes. ward. It means that he can't do Gromp without you seeing without you seeing him, so that's fine. This is okay too. Uh, so you can ping that. You can ping one danger ping right here to indicate <coughs> to uh. You can indicate to your um, your teammate, mm -hmm. uh, your your mid laner or your top laner. Just just ping a few times like uh Trundle, is up here so that they can be able they they can be safe and they can play to this side of the map so that you know Trundle can't gank this person. Again, remember when I said that Heimer's gonna push? This is all go yeah. all going according to plan. This is a gank for you right here. You don't need a gank mid, because he has flash. Swain doesn't have flash. Swain yeah, is level yeah. two. I wanted their jungle because I, I'm I'm afraid of counter ganking, so I just mm -hmm. work their jungle so I can gank top. You win the two v two. Yeah. You win the two v two not because uh. Trundle is a uh, like Trundle's level two is pretty bad. He only has like two abilities, and they require uh, they, him to get. They have a ghost wave, hmm? so I'm not sure about that. Oh, wait, what happened? They they have a big wave. Oh, you mean top lane, right? Yeah, top lane. It's like one wave with two two caster minions, and then the it's these three that you're worried about. To be honest, it's not it's not it's not the minion wave. It's these fucking turrets. They're gonna kill you. Yeah, probably. 
I would say you should wait until 3 in order to gank, but it's hard to hit 3. The only way is if you get the Gromp. But it's too late to steal it now, because Trundle is probably pathing downwards or upwards. So I really, it looks like she's going to go in. She's got Bone Plating, so she can take it. She have Corrupting Pot? She should pop her Corrupting Pot. This is easy for you to go. Oh my god. Oh, so she missed the stun. So you have nothing to be afraid of right now. Yeah, you can go in. That's fine. He has no flash. He has, she has nothing to worry about. Yeah, nice. Shove the lane. He has no flash. He's fucked. Or you can freeze and I let Irelia teleport. Okay, so you chose not to attack. Good. That's fine. If you do this, that means that you can gank. You have to gank top again. Because when Heimerdinger shows up to lane, I don't know if you know this, but if Heimerdinger shows back up to lane, it's he's going to lose the lane. <coughs> yeah, but I have to go to my blue. Otherwise, a will. Steal it. Yeah. yeah. You should tell your bot lane to ward it. Well, you know he was topside. You know he was topside because he, uh, yeah, yeah, he showed but up. But I know he, he's going for my blue. That's instinctive, yep. Good blue smite. I would personally get, um... Okay, never mind, you bought a control ward. It just didn't register on my thing. Ooh, what the fuck? He's doing my wolves. Yeah, yeah. So bad. You should have just done your blue first. You can cut him off. Nice. Auto, yep. He has flash. Nice. This is a very good Eye of Empire. Vision of Empire. So he flashed, let it go. Good job. Attack. Get a snare. Fail. <laughs> so bad. Alright. Ooh. Stunk him out of lane. Nice work. That's fine. Just one tower shot. <coughs> Should head back to your blue. I'm gonna speed it up a little. Yeah. So he has no flash. You don't need to do the crap first, you can just do your blue first and then restore your mana, then prep for a gank bottom. This okay. is this is decent, but it's better for you to get blue first. The sooner your blue comes back, the sooner you can deliver- Well, it depends. If you're snowballing, you can uh, take the blue for yourself sooner, or you can just give it to your mid laner sooner when it comes back up. In Korea, you would have to give it to your mid laner, but uh, you want to secure it sooner, because then the next thing you got to worry about is you're pathing from the top side. Because remember uh, that you started top side, so your camps are going to respawn and you might have a bad blue respawn. Cause then, cause then, if if your blue respawns at the wrong time, they can steal it, or you lose pressure on the map. Cause you have to go get your, you have to go either take the buff or deliver it. Yeah, but Trondo can invade my jungle because they have pressure, like me yep. and and I can't do anything about it. You know what so this I... is called, right? It's called a. They call it lane priority. They they have the pressure. They could just leave. Yep. Yeah. So so I just do the scuttle first. So. Yeah, I see I... what you mean. It's cause if you leave, if you took your blue first, then did the scuttle, you can still 2v3 or 3v2 because when they leave, you can ping assist me. Like you gotta, you have to, I, I don't see many pings going out, but like that's because the game's not in a state where you have to ping. You should ping more because I, I ping a lot because I that's just how I play and it's very communicative. Even in uh, pro games, they still ping a lot too, even in the middle of the game. Just, oh my God, he still had sums. What a bad player. Well, that's so sad. If you're gonna lose, it's because of your bot lane. Yeah, yeah. It's I I didn't check the stats on the the things, but if you lost, it's probably because of your bot lane. Like your bot lane should never. You gotta play in a way that doesn't allow you to die. That's it. Like he's he's in a safe spot. He just died and means he's a bad player. That's so unlucky. I'm sorry, you have to deal with that kind of shit. Mm -hmm. See now your your wraith your raptor camp spawns here, and then after you do. If you do Krugs and then you gank top again, you'll have your red back up. It's at around 7 minutes, 30 seconds. If not, uh, 6, 6.30. It's like somewhere around now. Did he steal your Raptors too? I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, he, he stoned the big one. Yeah, so if he, it means he's on this side of the map. Okay, easy gank. Guy has flash though. Nice work. Just take the kill if you have to, yep. Your third hit right there would have killed him faster. It was electric because I know electrocute would have proc there. I I forgot. I was wondering why you didn't kill him immediately. Uh, if Heimerdinger was a little bit better, he would have positioned this turret not there but forward because he dropped it wrong. Okay. Good job. Good job pushing the lane. He has no teleport, so you take advantage of that. When they don't have teleport, you should have your top laner freeze it. Just ask him. No, freeze it. He loses everything. But if you tell him to freeze it, you have to gank again. So for that part, like, remember when you killed him the first time, and the wave was right here? Irelia started pushing it. You should have helped her push it too. Even yeah, but their jungle will, will steal my boss side jungle. Right. So, 
you you have to like there there's there's a there's a decision it's like a choice this is where the being a jungler quote unquote comes down to play will you sacrifice your bottom half of the jungle so that your top laner snowballs heavily and sometimes that's not a bad idea to do and the only reason why i say it's better to give up part of your jungle so that you get an advantage top side is because you can check that you can control their top side jungle if if top lane wins or goes even or better than even like maybe a little bit higher your 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 team comp is in a it's gonna pull it's, it's what we call carry uh weight carrying like because your bot lane is not gonna be able to respond in any way shape or form so you drop them overall you never give them any pressure so yeah. that means Ezreal and Lux will always be behind in the state of the game, but your top laner is going to get ahead. Like, if, you, if, if that's the case, then what you should do is you can, you can control the map on the top half. You can you can swap them out after they take first tower and take Rift Herald and then shove bottom. So then you, you make up for their differences in strength. Make sense? Yeah. Like, sometimes, what I'm saying is sacrifices can be made. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nice. That champ, this champ is busted. I played against it today. Oh my god, it's fucking stupid. All right. Uh, I would grant pressure here. Uh, if not, since you did in fact take his, uh, you did in fact take a kill on him, you can control his jungle. Just, just go into his jungle. He is dead. Yeah. And you have lane. Pri your Irelia has lane priority and teleport advantage and summoner advantage. You can easily. Uh, if, you back, Lalo go. if you back, that means that. Well, if you had a ward, because on my screen you says you have a ward. Just ward here. So okay. that you know that Trundle comes up on top side, because then you can gank bot side or steal his red. Oh, Instead I think of taking your red, you can steal his red. Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna uh, gank top again, so. Yep. Win 2v2. This bitch I'm is 0 not... 4. How the fuck you win? Oh my god, that's so sad. Because our alert, Aurelia doesn't group, and I, I'm not a tank. We don't win. Her grouping fight. isn't your decision to make. Like, you can snowball top, but remember that even if you give her all the kills, you still got something out of it. That's why that's why I'm telling you to push lane sometimes. It's like a sacrifice. Like, Trundle's only method of, of, of hard stomping is farming. But his farming is, like, really weird. He builds tank, and he builds Blade of the Rune King, maybe Triforce. Um, it depends. Like, sometimes he doesn't build any of that. Sometimes he just goes full tank with Iceborne Gauntlet and just chases people down. He's a tank. He also steals your resistances. This is fine. I would gank top again and exert more pressure, but I also you, you should also look at the state of mid too. He's Oom, um, he has no he bought ninja tabis first instead of buying Roa. So he's he's too he you can see him struggling. I would say you can help him with breathing room. Like just give yeah, him room to breathe. He in. has no mana. Right, you can you don't have it's not about that. It's about pushing Yasuo out of the lane so that Swain can just farm this wave and back so he can get mana. But right now I can just kill kill a hammer. That's true too. It's just he's level five and like unless you take top tower, it's not worth it. Yeah, I'm level six. Uh, yeah, this I'm is nice. really rough. Okay, no flash. That's fine. You still have advantage. Did he just drop a? Did he just drop a? What? What the? Why did yeah, he drop he a he's turret? Scared. He's scared. Yeah, but he should have dropped the bomb because then the bomb would stun the the, the Irelia. Oh my god. He could drop yeah. the bouncing grenade. Holy shit. He still dies. <laughs> okay, this is so funny. Yeah, well, nice. Coming. See, he's kind of... He has no mana, but he's kind of strong. Oh, nice. Good healing. Nice, he's dead. Yasuo missing. Yeah, there he is. I knew it. So if he gets one dash tornado, you die. You might have to use your flash for this one. Okay, never mind. He's bad. Why, why... Do... Oh, wait, wait. He can't... He can't 1v2. He just can't. <laughs> we are 2 <laughs> He... he... <laughs> Okay, so this guy, okay, he doesn't have a ward, never, oh wait, he just, he never backed. Oh my, yeah, okay, he can't 1v2. I can't believe this is actually happening. Holy fuck, he's retarded. So, you're telling me he didn't back, and he decided to roam up top and int. Yeah, great, great player. This is free for you. Oh, Heimerdinger has teleport though, so you gotta back. Take your bot side jungle, take bot top. Like, I, I, I don't see you invading as much, because with Dark Harvest, it kind of gives you an indicator of what you should be doing, because like, Trundle is yeah, but right now I have a lot of gold. I have a lot of gold. Mm -hmm. Duskblade, right? Oh, never. You're, you're working on Duskblade after Warriors, right? Uh, Ghostblade. Oh, Yomo. Yomo, I think. I advise Duskblade since you're winning. When you when you ult them and then get out of ulti, you, you hit them <coughs> Duskblade procs automatically. Yeah, but I don't need that damage to watch out there. I just pro uh, press Yomo and give me a 
speed. I see. It's just you said you're doing blue cane though, right? Because then blue cane blue cane benefits off of dust blade. Because all the pros run through. Oh my gosh. Oh god damn. Okay. You don't want to give them the shutdown gold. I yeah, advise uh, dust blade, and the only reason why is because I I like the. It's because uh. I'm, I guess I'm used to dark, uh, not dark harvest, but electrocute. So I go dust blade first because I do need the damage. Whereas if you go dark harvest, you actually don't need the damage. It's the same thing, because dark harvest and uh, dusk dusk blade work with the same mechanic. In yeah, I, but I don't even need all to one shot people. I just press Did you W evolve? to AQ. Okay, you evolved. Is this uh this is red king, right? Yeah. Uh, no, no, blue king. Because I can't, I can't tell with the skin because it looks red on my screen. See. I, I can't tell. Like personally, I can't tell. Oh, I, but I can tell by the portrait. I can see now. Give this blue to Swain so that because he's not running, he doesn't have mana items. I I would give it to Swain. If you're if you're gonna take this blue, I think you can take uh. You have ulti? Yes, you do. No, I can't tell. If, is this up? I can't tell if it's up because I don't see the cooldown timer on my thing. But if you're ulti, you never it is, uh, It's up, right? Uh, no, I don't really give buffs <laughs> to pass. <laughs> Uh, unless they're winning. Swain isn't winning, I understand. Uh, yeah. Unless they're winning. Yeah, yeah. Swain isn't winning. He's not losing, he's just not winning. I, I understand where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah. If he's like 3 2 0 oh, or. Something, yeah. He has CS advantage, that's all he's got. You can kill the Yasuo. He has a. Uh, he, he's kind of bad, so like just punish this. Nice. Oh, uh, that looks weird. Oh, he missed. Okay, that's fine. You got him. Flash. Time is flash. Whew. Nice ult. He dies. Good job. Just check jungle, check jungle. Check jungle. Yeah. You have Dark Harvest, so you might as well. Okay, perfect. Push mid after. You you don't want to lose first tower to Trundle, because Trundle attacks it really fast and can eat the tower. He gains AD off of eating the tower. Yeah, doesn't yeah. make the tower lose AD, though. He just left. He just left. Bad Trundle player. I would have kept pushing. Because then you force that rally to teleport if you don't if you don't stop pushing. And your goal as a jungler is to waste summoner spells, so you have advantage. Your goal is to have pressure on the map. The way the way you want to play, the way you're playing pressure is like you're ganking and killing, but you're not. You're yeah, not I'm not focusing on objectives. Priority, yes. It's kind of it's bothering me. Oh my god, this guy is a thief. This fucking Trundle doesn't like your jungle. My god. Me yeah, he just left one. He just small. keeps stealing your shit, man. But but he left one small. <laughs> So bad. You took everything. See, that's that's advantage to you. Also, when you know that timers are up, you can invade them there. Like, it's better for you to take the whole camp, and then when it's about to spawn, you come and invade them because you know that they're gonna be there. This is easy. You're gonna hit the clone. You're gonna hit the cone, right? There. Nah. No, I'm, I'm just gonna eat over. He dropped the turret. Nice. The damage. Take. Oh. Don't need, don't need her. Cause the way I play, I, I advise Kane, and the way I advise jungle in general, is that your decisions have to be very, like, you have to make some sacrifices if you want to get this head, and because you're snowballing, I expect more objectives to be taken, rather than more farm to be taken for yourself. You didn't get the turret in time, wait, uh, yeah, yeah, they got the first turret. Uh, this is fine. Your goal is to set Heimerdinger behind. He can still come back because he has to just drop one really good E turret or drop a turret in teamfight and not get touched and use Zanyas, and he wins. <coughs> uh, I know about the Irelia. Oh, I don't know about the new Irelia versus the uh the, versus Heimer, but in the old Irelia uh, versus Heimer, uh, Irelia would struggle and would need a lot of help. So in this game, I noticed that I said top over mid over jungle, and you've prioritized top. That's fantastic, but. Uh, what, what I'm not seeing is just uh, the objective control. So then, I mean, it's not like it's the end of the world or anything. It's just, oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. the objective control would be a lot more appropriate in this. Yeah, have too much fun kill, killing people. I get it. I advise, uh, in this team comp, I think Ninja Tabi would be better than Moby Boots. I like the Moby Boots, I'm not gonna lie. It's actually really fun playing Moby Boots because you're gonna be traveling a lot more throughout the uh, lanes. And stuff like that, so that's cool. Look at this! Look at this! Look how fast you move! This is so fucking great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta hit I... in order for the thing to win. Why are they invading? What, what the fuck? I don't know. What? What? They... No! That's that's not even a, that's not even anybody's fault. What the fuck? Oh my god! They need yeah. to swap lanes. 
I don't know. When, when you're winning, when you're winning, you gotta know how to control the entire like section of the game. Cause like, Kane, blue Kane can farm and then just hard carry via farm. It's it, it's gonna work, but like you gotta make sure your lanes also stabilize too. Cause like if you if you did put all your eggs in one basket up in the top lane, you gotta make sure that like you gotta dump the basket eventually. And right now, what's happening is the basket is getting destroyed. Do you understand the analogy? Like you you put all your focus on top lane. That's good. so tilted. Yeah, it tilts the crap out of you. Like I, I would be pretty mad too. Like that that this is happening. Um, they are just so tilted. The bottom lane two two six. Uh, yeah. I've had I've had a I had a zero ten Atlas star. Don't worry, it's it's really bad. And I've gone two and three on support. I mean, uh, AD because I don't I have an Alistar that's zero ten. Like come on. Like he, I told him, hey, just W Q them and then we can all end them. And then he flash Qs and into under tower. Okay. Like, I've seen some bad stuff happen, it's okay. Uh, I understand, I, I get where you're coming from. As a jungler, all you need is lanes for B, uh, to be efficient. Another thing is, uh, Duskblade also, like, the damage is just, it's just really good. On, uh, on, against certain champions. Look, he has no armor, like, your goal is just to delete them as fast as possible. Even if you say that you don't need the damage, it's less about needing the damage, but it's about, like, control. It's, it's... When you're a jungler, I notice that you don't tax lanes very heavily. Do you know what I mean? Like, you kind of don't take people CS. You don't do it that much. You just take kills. But, Blue Cane benefits off of Duskblade, and at the same time, being a jungler means that you don't really... You don't really tax, right? Like, the way you play, you don't take people's farm. Very much. You don't do it very much. It's okay. It's not, like... That's a good thing. You don't take... That means that you're, you're giving your laners an advantage. But because you're doing that, it means that you're not getting a lot of money, which means that the most effective time you should buy an item is if you just get the Duskblade. Because Duskblade gives stats that are more than its cost. It costs 2,900, but it doesn't give 2,900 golden stats. It gives like 3,500. So you're spending less for more. Whereas Ghostblade just gives you move speed to catch people. But Duskblade is equally as effective when you stack it with Dark Harvest. Do you understand? Like, it, it, it's just... because yeah. it, it, It's the best item to purchase for the money that you spend on it. Yeah. It's like buying a watch for the same price, but this watch is better because it comes with glow in the dark. But it costs the same, and the other one doesn't come with glow in the dark. But it got nerfed. <laughs> the dust blade? Yeah, that's doesn't matter. Does it, it's because dust blade dust blade is always gonna outclass uh dust blade will always outclass ghost blade in the sense that even if it gets nerfed, even if they drop the damage by like 20 more, it's still too good because of the passive. Now if they fuck the passive, I understand where you're coming from, but they didn't really do too much to it. I I, I I've seen the dust blade nerfs like. Everybody who told me, I talk with, um, do you know, um, a hundred lands. do you know a hundred thieves, the team, the pro team? I don't know. Uh, do you follow, do you follow NA pro scene or, uh, other pro scenes? Uh, no. Do you follow Korea, China, LPL, LMS, any of the pro League of Legends scenes? Uh, you mean the pro teams? Yes, pro teams. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. So there's a there's a there's a jungler. His name is um, Amazing on EUS. He does the same thing. Um, if you follow what the hell? Uh, if you follow uh, GBM from Korea, he does the same thing. Don't follow Blank on SKT. He's not having a good day. Uh, if you follow uh, Dardok from North America, he does the same thing. Most of the players do the exact same style of a build. Uh, Blue Cane also you could benefit off of here like since they have uh, one tank you could build Black Cleaver But it's not necessary. It's your choice. Um, I would still think this way is better. Oh my gosh Oh, see a man. Yeah, I was gonna eat over wall, but he, he the pillared. Yeah, he pillared. That was a really good pillar by him If I Yeah, that that really changed the game that that's why we lost there Yeah, you could have escaped if I eat on the wall and I can kill, kill them all. Like yeah, in the middle. yeah. So first, and then you got them all. I actually was gonna say, okay, just eat over the wall. But then as soon as you got rooted by the Zaya, I was like, oh shit, man. Yeah, that's. It's okay. It's not ace. I mean. This game is still winnable. It's it's rough, but it's still winnable. You always have to have like, even if it's tilting. Like I've had like, <laughs> I've had both. I, I played with somebody that's like, that was ex pro. So nice. um. I went to uh, pro scene in um, but like pro games LCK in Korea and I've watched it. It's really fun. Um, it's like I, I played with some pros and they're they're very positive. So even if you are in this very rough situation, you have the resources on yourself 
it's up to you to carry. You just have to figure out how. And from the beginning, it was due to the lack of damage on objectives, aka objective control. Like, all, like, like what I'm saying is objective control. That was very important. Because on Kane, Kane isn't a sieging champion. He's a pick. Like, he picks people off, you know what I mean? Like, he, he goes, assassinates people, or does a lot of damage, and he his goal is to help the team set up. So you were doing the setup part, but you didn't, like, help the team. You have to do both. You, you just set them up. But they're not smart enough. Like, I really didn't decide to push. She didn't. De she did not decide to freeze. Swain, Swain's building is, Sw Swain build is, like, very slow for what he should be building. Ezreal and Lux kind of just lost lane on their own. Ulti. Nice, nice, good job. Nice, that was a pick. Good, good. Your team comp is designed to kill people one at a time. Nice, good job. Back up. Wait it out. Good, patience. On the fiddlesticks. Good. Heimerdinger. Ignore Trundle. Watch bot lane. Somebody needs to answer bot lane. Always watch side lanes. That's fine. You don't need to get this kill yourself. Like, if you kill him, you kill him. Like, you don't need to physically go for it. This is fine too. Take the objectives. Take this, then go ward here. If you have a ward. Okay, never mind. No, you have a control ward. Drop it. Here. This is very important. Fire Drake is something I don't like, and the reason why I don't like it is because while it's amazing for your team, right? It, it means that if they take it, you lose. Because you know it's also amazing for their team. Fire Drake is always good, meaning that if it's always good, it's gonna be always bad if you lose it. Okay. Uh somebody needs to you guys just lost so much gold and EXP on this wave. You don't have to have that five there. If you moved first, you would have gotten it yourself. And you get yourself further ahead. Look at your farm, you're so huge. You would have been at like 140 if you got this wave. I personally would have gotten, like I, instead of going for the Heimer, chasing this way down, just go walk into here, take this, move to dragon, take it, move to move to bottom, take it, or just uh, go take dragon and take as much of bot as you can. Even if you all lost like eight creeps here, you remember the minion changes this patch, right? The minion changes this patch demonstrate that it is more important now than ever to take farm. Be oh, and, and also finally, a uh, funny story, the replay is available now. <laughs> uh, it's okay, no problem. Um, more than ever, farm losing, taking farm in lane and people losing farm is now like, when you put someone behind, like Heimer, he should never be allowed to get back up on his feet. So like the, the, the things I was telling you were relevant to this patch too. Cause like you push, you didn't push the lane and you didn't freeze the lane, but that's not up to you. That's up to um, Irelia. But yeah. she she chose to like you chose to go to the jungle. Like the jungle camps were never changed. You know what I mean? Like your your jungle creeps, they'll give you the same amount of gold. But lane creeps, you can't make that up. Do, do you know what I mean? Like like lane yeah. creeps, jungle creeps will always sit there and come back to life, and they'll give like a set amount of gold. But lane minions are something you can't just drop. They give you a better amount, of, a more consistent amount of EXP, a better amount of income for your uh, champion. Nice. See, so you're doing this. You got to take this tower. Don't, don't don't do anything else. Just take this tower. See, like you get you get so much gold. Like this is what you what the gold you got from those that one wave is equivalent to a camp. But then another camp, like another wave is coming. So that's another two camps, one and a half camps if you count. The, is this cannon minion? No. Next wave is a. Yeah, this, this I feel bad. Hmm? I feel bad on the. Uh, do you think you should have Baron? No. You're, you're, uh, whatchamacallit, somebody on your team died, you're Irelia. Uh, even if you did Baron here, it's better, because you got more global pressure, you open the map. This is, this is, holy shit, this Yasuo is something else, good try. That's fine, good job. So you went from, here's what you did, you took a ton of farm top, shoved it out, killed two people, took the tower, killed one person, took the mid tower. So you gained a massive gold lead right here. When you're yeah, ahead, yeah. I recommend you buy defensive items. Yeah, I'm building GA. Yep, good. Did you just sell something? Yeah, you sold your refillable. Good, good, good. We have <laughs> oh no! Oh my God! Don't stand next to him, you. Oh! Yeah, that's how we lost. They just Jesus get Christ. Fun. She's not even building uh, what you call it, magic resistance at all. Unfortunate. It's okay. The way uh, after GA, I recommend you. You have to trade your boots in eventually, I think. But uh, 
This is pretty easy. Whoa, 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 that's pretty crazy. Yeah, but... You got a bass. Nice. I can't escape there. It's okay. Good try. I see what you mean by Aurelia's not grouping. To be fair though, look at these sideways. Like, you can't let this crash. And, like, like, on her defense, you can't let these waves crash because it gives pressure on the map. Nobody's gonna answer them, but look, like, this guy's gonna do it. So even if you guys quote-unquote defend mid and run it, like, A-ram it mid, like, you gotta make sure the side lanes are gone, are, are defended. Because what they're doing is when they push this bottom lane, remember when uh, Irelia died down at bot lane? There was a chance that if, if everybody was alive on their team and they had better vision control, they could do Baron. They're not gonna do it though. They're not smart enough to do it because the waves were not in position, like the circumstances weren't met. They're also behind, so they're afraid of Baron. But when this happens, you don't wanna put, you don't wanna like run everybody. Now there's three people bottom. Now there's two people top, right? Now your Zaya, like he, she died cause you killed her, but she should be around here somewhere maybe, or she's got, walking close. Like she could just go to Baron and easily get it done. Yeah. Okay, she's just back to life. She just bought an item. Whoa, 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 my map. Where you at? Okay. At some point you need to stop farming too, but if you do farm, it's okay. Like once you get 150 stacks or something, you're good. Hit this, nice. Uh. You have a ward over here. Pink, 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 pink the. I don't know, pink the mid, pink the mid. They're, they're Mia, they're Mia. Just, just pink the. Just pink this, just so you can check it out. No, yeah. no, no. Okay, okay. Yeah. I need him. Oh, no. Kill him. Ah! Kill Who's him. That? Quick. Yo. Oh, no. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Move back away from this. Oh, that's that's your Lux. That's fine. That was a very bad ulti by Ezreal. Almost got him, though. It was really close. Good, good itemization on your team's part. Okay, this is pretty easy. Good try. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ezreal's DPS is too low. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, I, I see where it's coming from. Um, is that Fire Drake? Oh yeah. no, He's no, bro, no. <coughs> I, I feel like this is the part where if I were playing this, I would flame. Yeah. Because Aurelia doesn't group. Yeah, it's, it's not her fault. Like, the thing is, she if, if she groups, Heimerdinger groups too. And Heimerdinger is a monster in teamfights. Even if he's 0-10. Yeah, Aurelia, Aurelia is much stronger than... He. Heimerdinger, yeah. But yeah, she she, this is the new problem. Aurelia. I don't know what she does. Like, like, I know that she can stun people from a distance and dash a lot. Um, I think that I'm, that as a top laner, it's her decision to like teleport. So it's I know she's playing it so bad. Like I understand, like oh, you camped top. What's the issue? It's just that like even if you camp top and kill him like ten times, Heimerdinger is always going to be relevant in the game. Whereas even if you're even if you're a thirteen and one Mordekaiser, okay, Mordekaiser is a stupid champion to name. Let's let's name a let's name a, another threatening champion, a sort of threatening champion. Uh, let's say you're a you're a thirteen and one Maokai. Hi Maokai versus Heimerdinger is around the same uh, estimation. Obviously, I, like you know, I can name another champion. Um, what they do is they don't grant pressure by being in the team fights. They grant pressure by being on the side lanes of the map. That's what top laners are known for. Uh, let's look at another one like Jax, right? Like Jax is known as a split pusher. He just draws pressure across the map and then runs away with his jumps. Heimerdinger doesn't run away. He stands and fights. His goal is just to push people and force people to answer the sideways. Hence what your Irelia has to do. She's not doing it because she's not wanting to group. It's because if she doesn't group, you just lose towers for free. And when a team like the blue team is behind, losing towers, for, you, you losing towers for free due to Heimerdinger's pushes is going to get everyone back in the game that includes heimerdinger himself then when any even if it's 5v4 unless you guys have a massive objective amount ahead of your opponents 
you know, when remember when you went top and went mid and you took those two objectives and you had a numbers advantage in towers? That was your chance to try to snowball if you don't die. But you died. So it's like, all, it, it's all good. It's because when you take all the resources as, as a jungler, and, or, or you didn't take really, you didn't really take that many resources. So I'm just saying, like if you were Demir, right? He would probably do the same thing. Like why, why is my team grouping? Blah, blah, blah. Um, he does that all the time. I hate playing with him. Like whenever he's on my team, he always does the same thing. He's he plays Volibear and does the same shit too. Just steals everybody's resources and flames his team. Um, what I'm saying is, if you have all, all these kills and stuff and you die, it kind of makes it pointless. Where as as like like you you just built this entire empire of like you know strength. And then the tower just crumbles, and then the rest of the workers are like, shit, you know? Because, like, if you die, you have a 7-4 Irelia, a 2-5 Swain, a 1-5 uh, Ezreal, and a 2-3 Lux that has, like, no magic resist, and they're too squishy, and they all just die. So, like, at that point, this is where, this is why I said Red King was more valuable. Uh, oh, 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 it's okay. Oh, my God! See, so now he dies. This is your chance to threaten Baron. You, you've killed their top, well, you've killed their top, and you've killed their mid. But that's not enough. Normally, when I when I call for Baron, you should kill their their jungle and you should kill their uh, support because then if you kill their jungler, that means that uh, you have no one to smite steal. And if you kill their support, no vision. That's it. Um, that's just my thoughts. Look at this right here. You, you're gonna need Irelia or Ezreal or no, sorry, uh, Lux doesn't need to be there. Fuck, scrambling my words. I keep looking at Ezreal's build and I keep saying Ezreal, but I don't mean to say Ezreal. Okay. Take this. Take this. Take this. Good job. So now Trundle's here, he's gonna try to threaten the steal. What the fuck? Yep. What the? Yeah, good try, I guess. So right now we can't get anything. They, what they did was they just stopped your Baron. They just stop your Baron, that's it. Yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Not because you're a player or anything, I just ate something earlier, Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, that was my bad. Uh, I would build... I guess you could build Cleaver or Randuins or something just to make you a lot more durable against their team composition. Uh, something, to, Yeah, probably Randuins simply because you can reflect, like they have two people that could crit and they have a high crit chance, like 80% each. Well, Yasuo 100, but you know what I mean. Just to reduce the damage that you take and they build Ninja Tabi and you reduce the damage that you take. Even if it's Blue Cane, I, I know that sounds weird, but like that's what I would do. Like personally me. Uh... <laughs> I think this is a team fight how we, why we lost. Let's see why. Uh, I really didn't is there. Uh, one, two, it's, about it's, three it's members. Here. You need to wait. You actually need to wait. Five, three, three, five there. Your wave clear is equal to theirs. It's pretty bad. Okay, let her push. No, just let her push. You don't have to fight anything. Just let her push. Why? 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 What is these back pings? She should be pushing harder. And if she keeps pushing, you guys can bear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need to fight this. Just back up. Just just let Irelia push and draw. Like, Heimerdinger should answer this. He Heimerdinger should have been bought the entire time. You you would have won the team fight if Heimerdinger's bottom. You you auto win. You, you just dance this out and win. Let's see. Let me see what happens. There he is. Okay. So then you just, you just wait for it. He, she can't 1v1. Like, he has Anya's and Tower's pretty strong. And these, these fucking... She has stuns and stuff like that. She can 1v1 oh. if she, like, had a little bit more magic resist. But it's whatever. So what you need to do is just kind of wait. You don't have to fight this. Just go Baron. Or threaten Baron. Or just dance around Baron. Just keep jumping back and forth. Yeah. I really I, don't need to be there. It's a it's a game of I, patience. I was pushing top. Okay. Back up. I was pushing top. I uh, forgot. Okay, I see why. Yeah, it's not. I mean, they your team just has to. Oh no, they just had to dance. Dancing doesn't mean like fuck around. I mean, like they just kind of had to wait, like be really patient. They all just died to middle. Oh. So we just lost. They just. Can they, can they actually end though? Because if you die, they end. 
You kind of, if, if you, what I would do is I would let the inhibitor go, and if they keep going, focus on wave, yeah, just focus on wave player, just be patient. If they lose the next team fight, then yeah. Oh my god, Fiddle is such a dumb champion sometimes. No, oh my god. I can't believe that actually happened. Team 9. Get more. No, I don't. Don't steal it. No, fuck. Oh, oh shit. Well, I'm pretty sure that's called the end of the game. Haha. <laughs> yeah, that's it. To be fair, I would have just let it go and then just play it slow. Like, like, uh, a lot of things about League is that there's there's this thing called impulse and instinct. It, it they, they almost go in hand in hand. They're not the exact same thing, of course. But uh, impulse and instinct, like, it means that you're acting uh, like like I got it, and then like it's too late. When in reality, you, what I do is even if it's really dumb it's better to just wait it out you have to be really patient on what oh. I mean not this Yasuo, this Ezreal got hit by that Yasuo Q this freaking guy dude like all they have to do is just go even I, I, I get where you're coming from so from the beginning, what I can deduce is that, uh, <laughs> yeah, I would have left too. That's so gross. Like, I, I, after you go off, I get it. I get it. Give me one sec. Let me, let me, let me show you what I mean. So, after you get this kill mid, here's, 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 here's my assessment on the situation. There's, two, uh, that doesn't count. One, two, three, four, five, six minions here. Let's say that everything was going according to plan. <coughs> you know that Heimerdinger has teleport but he has no flash you want him to come into the lane again so that you can kill him now uh, you also want to get blue buff right so what, what what do you do do you prioritize the killing or do you prioritize the blue buff the answer would be simple the blue buff like like naturally like yeah now you channeled you went down there three camps like three camps yes kind of if you can kill him yeah you got him, right? I think you did. I think you got him. No, he flashed over the wall. That's right. It, it, it's camps versus camps versus what you can get off of the kills. See, like, you notice the lane is still here. Like, it's still here. So, I would have continued to pressure topside. There, there's this, um... It's a psychological technique. It's, it's but I will be too behind. Like, I have no XP go And, uh... If I, if I can catch Chondo, I can probably just kill Chondo. Because I'm in here. Yeah, that's true. And but I know he see my jungle, so I can just kill him and yeah. take take my three camps. Another reason why this style doesn't work is because you're running Dark Harvest. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I again, I advocated for Electrocute, and you like Dark Harvest. Whereas the way the way I play it is because I, I guess I'm too used to Dark Harvest. I mean, not I'm not used to Dark Harvest, but I like Dark Harvest when you're when you're playing Blue Cane. Whereas I'm used to playing Red Cane and I'm used to reading where my opponent is. Um, tracking is something I'm having a difficulty doing in this game because like it's it's kind of weird, but it, it's a little bit slower. Dark Harvest uh, requires you to do uh, uh, prioritize on farm, but if you kill a jungle or uh, if you kill your opponent, uh, Dark Harvest stacks also come, so it's equivalent to a camp. So it kind of depends on where your priorities lie. Yes, you do sacrifice EXP and some gold in your camps, but the thing is those camps will always be available. Like, they'll respawn and stuff like that. Yeah, sure, it takes a long time to respawn and stuff like that, but um, because it takes 2 minutes and 30 seconds for a Gromp, a Wolf, a Raptor, and a Krugs to respawn. But you can also make pressure happen around the map simply by just being there to give your laners breathing room. Uh, Lux and Ezreal, for instance, right? Yeah, they're, they're useless. Like, you, you want to agree with me on that one, right? Mm. They're really bad players. But that doesn't mean that they're they're like they're 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 dead weight yes but that doesn't mean that you have to you have to give up on them completely you you, you should give them breathing space because you, you yeah. know how you were tilted or they tilted right like you were tilted that the bot lane is doing bad but there's also the fact that those are players and they tilt too so like they're they're like oh my god this guy's pressuring me so much i'm tilting because i'm being pressurized so much as a jungler, your job is to release, relieve pressure off the map and yes, give pressure. But I, but I don't think we can 3v2 at that point. They may just In kill. Bali? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. 
you're, you're, you're missing this. You don't have to kill them. You just have to give them space to breathe. Oh, that's yes, that's you it. just have to like, 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 just by being there. They, the, like, you know how when you show up into a gank, you either get yeah. the gank off, or the the enemy bot laners back up, right? Because they're like, oh, it's warded, right? That's all you yeah. have to do. Sure, the gank doesn't have to be successful for it to work. You yeah. just show up in the top lane, and the enemy team starts backing off. Because if if Zaya and and Fiddlesticks are up here, but then they back off because you're there, that gives Ezreal room to CS freely, as well as Lux to walk forward more, so Ezreal can continue to CS freely. You do yeah, nothing. Chondo can punish me for showing myself. Like yes, that is true. Can... Yeah. Well, and while that is true, you also have to remember like the reason why I'm saying that you can do that is because. Sometimes Trundle shows up in places that are unnecessary. You, you know what I mean? Like, like you, you notice that whenever Trundle showed up on the map, you punished him, and the and the reverse is the same, right? Yeah. He's playing from a state of defense, whereas you are playing from a state of offense. You don't have to be proactive in your ganks. You can also be reactive. When he's dead like this, you can either continue to put pressure here, invade the jungle, get a ward here. That's why I remember when I said I'm having difficulty tracking the enemy player. It's because like when you when you kill them or you track their camps, you know where they're gonna be at, so that you can do the sort of relief pressure techniques. Um, there's a jungler in Korea who played Kane. Uh, let me see if he has his IGN still the same. He was he had, oh he's D2 now. He was challenger in the preseason. Uh, he's D2 now. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Oh, he's just uh, what the? Why is he playing Zach support? What are you doing? I guess Zach support's a new thing. Um, that's funny. Uh, oh my god, he's inting. Um, he, he's a jungle main in uh, Korea. He has, oh, wow, look at the 60% win rate up to... Where, where is he? It's just Challenger, Masters. Where's the part where it says Challenger? He almost <laughs> Challenger. But um, what he's taught me in Korea was that um, when he was playing with pros, he didn't have to... He didn't. He played Dark Harvest Kane too, don't worry. He actually played Dark Harvest Kane. He actually played uh, Red and Blue Kane. He played exactly the same way you're playing. Uh, he did build Dustblade though, but this was a while ago. I still watch his replays to check how he pressurizes the jungle. And again, you don't have to be there in order to uh, give pressure. You just have to show up so that you give your laner some room to... Like, you're not even... The thing is, you're not... When you show up in the lane, you don't have to walk into the lane and be like, Go away! Like, you don't have to scare them away. You just have to show up and make sure that the enemy players back up. If they are backing up, you're doing your job. And while you're moving towards that direction, you're pathing that, that, down that way anyway. So for example, right here, right? So you're, you're top side, right? And let's, mm -hmm. let's say the matchup isn't the way it's going right now. Like, let's say I really is losing, right? Where are you? Yeah. Okay, click. So you, clear, you cleared this camp. Do, 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 okay? Okay, uh, it's normal speed. Instead of going to this red buff, you just walk up to top lane. Let's say Irelia was 0-3 uh, and this guy's 3-0, uh, okay? You just show up and then he starts backing up. That's it. And then just go back into then then look for your next job. Like you don't have to make a gank successful. And and you, you think that if you go behind an EXP, <clears throat> you really don't because like it's the same thing as it, it's the same concept as oh I can't gank this lane because it's warded. Like you know how you show up to a lane and it's like it's warded so you just start backing up. It's the same concept. You didn't really waste time there. Think of it as giving your laners breathing space. You have to think positively about it. And that's that's technically what it is. Uh, you can watch other videos on, uh, do you know, um, I don't know if you know BMX Specs, like I said, uh, where's the jungling? Uh, where? B BMX Specs. Do you know him? Oh, yeah, I know him. Yeah, Okay, know. yeah. He, he plays in Korea. He does, he plays two specific champions, but he, he's a pressure jungler, and he doesn't <laughs> get, his KDAs aren't high. They're not amazing. If you watch how they jungle, they just have to show up on the map, and it kind of just rallies itself from there uh, excuse me there are certain players that play carry style jungling and then they play they play pressure style jungling pressure and carrying go they sometimes they go hand to hand okay look somebody's playing kane right now uh i don't know if i'm allowed to do this legally but like because because like i'm i'm not streaming or anything but like i'm not sure if i'm allowed to record it but oh i know this guy um not sven but i know the enemy player um he's doing pressurizing look he has no kills he has like 25 farm and he's running uh I don't know if he, no, he's not running Dark Harvest. He's running Electrocute. He just showed up. He couldn't get a kill, and he's giving. Is that a Nocturne top? Are you fucking serious? Holy shit, this is crazy. He just gives his jungler pressure. He didn't kill anybody. He just showed up. All his lanes are in favor of priority, right? 
that's that's mm. another thing. When you had your lanes, they they did not have priority. None of them were pushing. You had every opportunity to come and breathe, give them breathing room. What what yeah. the, what is this guy doing? What 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 the fuck? Kill. He has no passive. Just kill him. What what? Yes. Right. Go go. Thank what, you. what 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 what? Go. Thank you. Kill him. Yeah. You can't kill uh, him though. Oh yeah, oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. This is this is pretty dumb, right? Like. He gets a bunch of stacks. He looks. Like, I don't know which cane he's going, but it looks like because he killed some melees. Melees give you blue cane, right? No, they give you red cane, right? Yeah. Yeah. Red cane is just better because I like the I like the team aspect of it. Yeah, it is. Red cane is so much better. It it's better in the team aspect. If you're if you're looking to have fun, blue cane is always the way to go. I I like blue cane for fun, and I run dark harvest simply because it's just so much fun. Yeah, um, but if you end them, you gotta carry like so. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your, your runes are fine. I'm not going to argue with your runes. Like, Dark Harvest, Electrocute, doesn't really matter. It's it's how you execute it. If you're running Dark Harvest, you are prioritizing farm more. And I'm not used to that. Because I keep mistaking that you have Electrocute 90% of the time. Because it's very common for people to run Electrocute over Dark Harvest. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm so used to it being normal that when someone changes things up, I have to think differently. And I didn't think about it. Like... Yeah. 80 carries who run press the attack, not Lucian. Like, let's say, like, Tristana or uh, Caitlyn. They always run fleet footwork. But if I see them run press the attack, I'm not used to it. You know what I mean? Huh. Like, I, I just, it's just, whoa, why are they running that? Like, Morgana should be running Aerie. In the highest level of play, you expect Aerie. But the ones that run Comet, that bothers me. Because you can't proc Comet as consistently. Same thing with Kane. With Dark Harvest, you are forced to farm more. And that's not wrong. It's just that you lose pressure because you're giving up pressure for farm. But you could still pressure in a different way. Because kills give you Dark Harvest stacks too. If your teammates int. This is another thing. I noticed that your bot lane was inting. But you didn't come to get them. Because if your teammates int. They drop Dark Harvest souls that you could pick up. You know that right? Yeah. Yeah you could just steal their. <laughs> you can make up for their mistakes. By punish, by, by, by coming to pick up the souls. And punishing your opponents. This guy uh -huh. just stole the kill. He just stole the kill. Yeah. He's putting pressure on the map. And Zack is exerting no pressure because what Sven is doing is he knows that Zack cannot be at certain places at certain times. Because Zack's camps were stolen. By constantly looking up vision control, this is, he's, I, I've known, I've studied how he moves. He doesn't, he, he's better at tank junglers and, and pressure junglers like Sejuani and Zack. Um, as well as playing Kane and Nocturne and Jarvan. He doesn't do anything other than just exert pressure by being invisible on the map. Uh, it's. I think that's the reason why you also pick Shaco. You don't think about this, but Shaco and Dark Harvest go hand in hand because in lower elo, like let's say bronze, silver, gold, you take Electrocute because it's all about kills. But the higher you get, like even in plat and diamond, you you divert less on kills and more on pressure. How do you have pressure on the map? It's called it, pressure and presence are two different things. Presence means that he's everywhere, but he's nowhere at the same time, because. You're always guessing yourself. You want to make your opponent doubt. You want to make your opponent scared of you without actually being on the map. Mm -hmm. But you're always moving around. That's what I learned about someone who played Graves. I learned how to play Graves from Tarzan. I learned how to pray, play Graves from another challenger that used to main Graves. His name was Sean Graves God. I learned how to play Graves from this guy named I Want My Cigar, who is Master Tier. I've learned how to play Graves from every different like Graves main at the time. Not the crappy ones, but like the really good ones that know how to play the damn champion and the jungle. And I, I've known that like some of them are... And then I, I went to Korea and it doesn't work there. Because styles work differently based on how relative it is to the level of play that you're playing in. So in Plat, you have to exert pressure on them, not by killing them. Not just by killing them. What I see is you're just killing them and then just answering your camps accordingly. When Oh, I killed them. And now I just gotta do a camp, look for the next free gank, and go. That's not yeah. always gonna work. In here, it didn't work. Because your bot lane, you, 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 two out of your three lanes didn't do what they're supposed to do. They didn't... One lane didn't win. Bot lane lost. You know that. That was for sure. We're gonna agree on that. They suck. They 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 they, they fucking get caught. They they can't move. They have no spacing. Nothing. Mid lane went even, but even if he's out of mana or has mana, he bought wrong. He itemized wrong. You have to save him by just showing up in the mid lane and pushing the Yasuo out so he can get more money so that he can get his items sooner. Okay. The 
the the reason why jungling is the most difficult role and the most skill based role is because it doesn't revolve around mechanics. There are mechanics to it. You know, you gotta dodge shit, you gotta do shit at the same time. The the difficulty is the the decision making because what do you lose out of what you gain? Now you 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 thought about more about what you lost than what you gained because or well you thought about them at at a at about equal level but you should be thinking about more about what you gain and what your team can gain out of it because when I kill Heimerdinger okay as as Kane when I kill Heimerdinger what will I lose if I continue to camp him up top I will lose three camps and a blue buff in one of those three camps trundle will gain an advantage however trundle did not back he had played it slow and he played it wrong so then you made up for that that's a mistake on his part he if i were trundle i would not have invaded until way later and then you can punish him and duel him because he didn't buy and you bought so you have an item advantage you have a smite advantage. you have a smite that's better than his kind of advantage that's 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 my thoughts for that um you can sometimes take sacrifices as a necessary way to snowball your laners and yourself kills obviously don't kills kills obviously aren't everything as you can tell here kills lead to objectives but you didn't take too much of the objectives that's why when i say oh you push them into them into the lanes and award award when in their jungle when there's no camps like you remember how you warded or i told you to ward their topside jungle after you killed the heimerdinger before you recalled i told you to do that and the reason why i told you to do that was because if you do that, you grant you grant uh, access to the top side. You, you grant knowledge on top side, and knowledge in itself is a huge objective because when he shows up at any point, you can respond accordingly on the opposing side of the map. So then mm -hmm. you're ready. Now, if he shows up on the wrong side of the map, you can you can deduce. I think it's time for me to do a three v three down bot lane. It's very it's variant from situation to situation. Not every single game will be the same. You notice, like, sometimes, if, if you're watching the way he plays now, he's just farming. Because there's he can't pressure anything, right? He can't ju he can't show up to, to... He can't show up to kill somebody. So he's just he's just farming. Because that's the only thing he has to do. There's, there's this concept that junglers think that you always have to be doing something. And sometimes that's true. Sometimes that's not. Like, it's true. Like, it's more true than it is not true. But people say that it's not true. In reality, you always got to be doing something. And th this right here, you're technically, like, even if all your lanes are winning or losing, you still have a job. If you can't kill them, then try to 1v1 the jungler. See, like, he showed up in the enemy jungle. Now the enemy jungle, or now the enemy bot lane can either all in here or the back up. And they chose to all in. They failed the all in. So what now? So the jungler responds. Oh, I got this. 3v3, it's going to win if Kane plays it right. One, okay, nope. Nice. Kane no passive, right? Or Zach no passive, right? Okay. Pressure, pressure. You need to exit. Exit. Good job. Oh, hey, it's Noah. I know Noah. He's good. Noah's an AD carry main, though. He's putting on support. That's really bad. Don't put an AD carry main on support. I mean, yeah, don't put an AD carry main on support unless he's really good. Like, unless the AD carry is just better. Uh. Ooh. Red cane, see? Um, anyway, that's that's not the point. He always goes red cane. Sven never goes blue. Um, look at his camps. He still has a bunch of camps here, but on the top side, there's like no camps shown. He invades a lot, and the reason why he invades a lot is because he knows that like Zach is also an early game pressure jungler. Um, another thing you have to worry about is matchups. Like, what can Trundle do? You're 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 really afraid of letting Trundle get really far ahead of you, and mm -hmm. the thing is. You have some, you have numbers on him. You have kills, and you have a little bit of gold. You have a time limit, meaning that like as the later, the later on the game gets, the worse you become. Yes. Uh... Like Kane, Kane, I mean, like 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 compared to Trundle. <sighs> Did he just? <laughs> the singe is just, the singe is. You see that shit? Oh yeah, yeah. my god. The later on the game gets, the easier it is for people to play against you. Because they have items, and they have, like, you know what I mean? Like, they have Guardian Angel. Oh, I'm ready, you know? Like, they, they'll become more... It's easier for them to counterplay you. Because they know what to expect. And you have a time limit, because once you hit six items, you'll, you won't get any stronger than that. Yeah, but my Dark Harvest will reset. Yeah, your Dark Harvest goes to infinity, because that's, that's how it works. That's the only thing that you've got going for you. you. You know what I mean? Like, 
it, it's like you you have to, okay so he he's he's pressuring by not ganking as much but he also ganks when it's free it, it's it's hard to explain how this concept works because like it's not easy to get the idea immediately and i don't when i when i jungle on kane i don't gank unless i know that there's something that both me and the top laner can get out of it and it leads to pressure on the map as a whole not just in the lane because when you when you dunk heimerdinger your entire goal of dunking Heimerdinger is not just to, oh, Trundle goes down bot lane and takes all my camps. You want Trundle to answer by coming up top. Because then you're like, my god, he won't stop ganking me. I need help. That's what Heimerdinger should be typing to his team. And then, by doing so, you draw Trundle top. And by drawing Trundle, Trundle top, you can show up on bot side and do the reverse, you know? Like... This should be a really easy concept to get, but because if you draw so much pressure off on one side of the map, you answer the, you, you automatically, like, divert their attention. Sometimes mid laners will go up top. Yasuo, for example, he realized that you were granting a lot of pressure, also that you were low, but um, you were granting a lot of pressure. Um, the strength that you exert from, uh, the strength that you exert from Kane's early game was not maximized, aka the word efficiency. Um, remember when I said you could build <clears throat> a certain way, but it's not about what you build. It really didn't matter what you built in the in the end, because like Duskblade would have been better. It's just like kind of it's like a mini Dark Harvest in itself. But ignoring that, when you didn't push for top, like shove it all the way so that you can pressure the Heimerdinger more, because Heimerdinger he can last it under turret, but like that requires him to like really really work hard for the turret control, and then like. I really I could clearly dive the trundle. You gotta pressure a little bit more. Um, you need to be ready to. I, I think you can try this in a custom game. Just calculate how long it takes for you to get from lane to lane with regular boots, Moby boots, and then try to think about how how you want to be on the map in the future. Because like 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 when when I said oh this is an easy time for you to get Baron, you remember that one time like uh, oh we should Baron here, but instead you guys just took towers for free. Because the better option was for you to take towers for free because your lanes were in a position for you to take towers for free. You should have taken. You took the towers for free. That was correct. Because if you guys took Baron at that time, your team was not in position. And if you guys did take Baron, you guys just end up recalling anyway, and then you lose all the pressure that you exerted. And then uh -huh. you have to re-exert that pressure, and it's a waste of time. So two towers is equivalent to Baron, because the the gold is 150 or or so each globally. So it's the same thing. Uh, the difference is that Baron prevents them from clearing the wave. Uh -huh. Um. What else is there? Uh, itemization didn't really matter uh, in the end because you bought Guardian Angel when you were ahead. That's not that's not your fault. Your team getting caught. You know when you're answering top lane, you should have just pinged them back because you made the right call to answer the side wave. Always answer your side waves. Like for the most part, you're in the right, like in the mid to late game. I like that. That's fine. But then in the early game, that's where you kind of falter. Simply because you're going too much for kills. And in the mid game, you went for kills and they were correct. When I said that Kane is a pick champion, you utilize the efficiency of what Kane is known for being, you know, a pick champion, to the best. Like, you, you did it correctly. There's nothing wrong with that. You fucking murdered the Heimerdinger. Another challenger approaches. You kill the Fiddlesticks. You get the tower. You go mid. You kill the Yasuo and get the tower. Should have just gotten the tower and then backed, and that was fine. Like, it was a little overboard, you know what I mean? Like, you, you should have just taken the tower and then just stopped, and then just play it patient. Team fights, team fights are not under your control, because that's that wasn't your fault. I mean, who who whose fault is it that they get caught by a fiddlesticks ult? You said you you went top. You stated your well. I don't know if you stated your intentions by pinging, but I think you should have stated your intentions by pinging. Hey, I'm going top. Back up, back up, back up. Three pings in the middle for danger. One ping for on my way to top. Or you can let someone else answer it, because you don't need that kind of farm. You know, like you let someone else uh, get some money. Maybe Ezreal can go up top and you ping everyone back. Maybe uh. Maybe Swain goes top, clears the wave with a few Qs, and then Your backs Your wave clear sucks. Who? Swain? Ezreal? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's okay. And the reason why is because it's not about, like, clearing the wave fast. Remember, that game, that 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 time you went top, Irelia was bottom. The whole point was for Irelia to draw more pressure, and then Heimerdinger answered. So mathematically, it's 4v4 mid. When you left for top, it could have been someone else leaving for top. And when you're there... Like, when you were there, you 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 scared them. Like, they can't move forward and initiate a team fight without thinking, like, oh, Kane might delete the backline. When you left, Kane deleted the backline. You know what I mean? I mean, uh, Fiddlesticks deleted the backline. You know what I mean? With his ulti. 
your presence, because you had so many kills, you being fed, the moment you left, they're like, go, 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 he left. It was a bad call. You know what I mean? Like, it's not a wrong call. It's a bad call in the sense that, like, your team decided to move forward when the best player on the team, you, left. Like, that that, that in itself, their decision as a team made no sense. Your decision to answer a side wave that was shoving in that's massive, that's correct. You always should answer side waves. You, should, you, can't, let those, you can't let that shit go on. Because then if it crashes, if they get Baron, if they got Baron at that time, like immediately, not like as soon as they killed like the three mid, they didn't get Baron immediately. They backed up a little bit. But they, if they got Baron immediately, they just use top and then they, they kind of answer top and then just win the, win the game off of top. Not through mid, but through top. Like it's just, you can't let that happen. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, I think that when you kill people, you don't tax. That's fine. That's acceptable. That's not a bad idea. Um... I think that if you controlled the lanes by pushing more, it would be a lot more favorable for your team. Uh, sometimes, oh my god, sometimes red cane is a little bit better. You just have to know when to pick it, of course. It's not really the end of the world if you don't pick it. Jeez, Zach, what are you doing? I think that um, sometimes, depending on the matchup, like let's say it was Elise, would, would you... Would you still have gone down to the bottom side of the map to protect your blue from Elise? Knowing that it's Elise. Yeah, Elise got a buff this patch, but her jungle clear speed, it's kind of slow and she takes a little bit of damage. You know what I mean? Like, you kind of know, like, at some point, some, some junglers just take more damage than other junglers, right? Yeah. So, like, if it, it just because it was... You, you were afraid just because it was Trundle. Not because it was, uh... Because Trundle is tanky and he can clear kind of fast because he just whacks the fucking minions and they all die. I get that. That's 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 Chondo completely useful. Useful. Huh? In the early game, Chondo is useless. In... Yeah. So if Trundle is useless in the early game, it's okay for. Do you feel that it may or may not be okay for you to give up a few camps because he, you know, for a fact that he's like, oh my god, he's like, it's Trundle. What is he gonna do? He just walks up and pillars you. And if you can't, if you just flash the pillar, you're okay. You know. Like, I, I'm saying like you could grant pressure on the top lane and force Heimerdinger to play back really far. And, and the thing that also bothers me is, this isn't on you, because you can't control this, but I really should have swapped out after you guys got the tower. Like, he, she should have gone bottom, and bot lane should have rotated top, then they 2v1, and then you 3v1, and, and then if you continue to farm up top lane, you can 3v1. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you can 3v1 the top laner, Heimerdinger dies again, and then your bot lane gets with Herald together with you, and you get pressure. That could have worked, but your bot lane didn't rotate, I really didn't rotate, not your fault. Like, there's, there's no reason to, for you not to, but they should have. It's just so, it's just so awkward. Uh, what else is there? Um, if if the matchup was like Lee Sin, you know, Lee Sin goes like, oh, I have to go to bot side now because of that. Um, when you check their their red, of course, it, 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 it's it's red to blue, and when you check their blue, like you kind of knew where the jungler was and what level he was and whether or not you can make a gank happen. It, it, it's all variant because like you know not every single time will a jungler do so uh do that kind of pathing not every single time will uh there be a, a trundle that does blue, uh, red blue gromp it's all very variational but what i'm saying is like there are repeated patterns and trends that are done and i usually tend to follow those repeated patterns and trends um yeah because he knows i'm gonna invade like steal his blue so he just run Straight buff to buff. Yes. Now, if it's it's a far journey for him, and you kind of answer that, but with top lane, when you when you when you make a call for like defense or offense, you just have to know what you can lose and if it's optimal for you to lose it. And the thing is, with if you did camp top, it would take you longer to prep for it. Yeah. But let's do a net count. So you lose three camps. Steal yes. his gromp. Steal his uh, steal his grump and do your crugs. That's two camps, and you lost three camps, so you only lose one camp in the end. Makes sense in terms of exp. Okay. Because you had the 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 golems were available. I saw them. Um, I I checked it a few times. The golems were available. So if you lost three camps, but you gain one camp, you've only lost two camps. Then you take his grump, because that was up for a while. So now you've taken two camps, and you made up for the one camp you lost. So you've only lost two camps. But crugs and grump grant more exp than. Krugs and Grom. So it, it kind of cancels out. Now you just have to worry about a blue buff. But yeah, what's one blue buff equivalent to one kill? And EXP from the lane. You shove the lane, you also get EXP from the minions too. 
So yeah, but I, the the kill isn't like like he can just play safe and avoid that kill. Heimerdinger? Yeah. But he didn't play safe. Remember, he pushed. At every instance, yeah. Heimerdinger chose to push. He he didn't like there was one time where you were setting up a gank and you were like, oh, I can just go behind him and kill him, and you did. But he never really quote unquote played safe. He had no flash. And he, remember when I told you at the beginning, if he plays aggressive or not even aggressive, but if he just pushes just a little bit over over the 50% line, like halfway through the lane, then you got him because he can't escape. You you got him. Yeah, he still had flash. You got him for sure. Yeah. I think I had like 1,200 gold. Oh yeah, that's right. You chose the back too. Um, yeah. because he needed so, to buy. Then at that point, yeah, the most optimal pathing was, yeah, to go south, but then, like, afterwards, you can also give, just give bot lane and uh, mid lane a little bit of breathing room, more bot lane than mid lane. Um, your bot lane invading, for some reason, was the, probably the, uh, the worst, uh, decision I ever saw. Uh, mm -hmm. that was, like, the stupidest thing ever. Like, they're not even ahead, and their jungler is actually kind of decently leveled. Um. Yeah. Layer two. Yeah. You just need to, uh, in terms of, the, the word padding just means that you got to make sure that you get the right amount of, uh, farm alongside the, uh, the camp, uh, like, you get the right amount of camps done, uh, parallel to the amount of ganks that you do. Like, I would okay. say do two camps, or do one or two camps before you get a gank off and make sure that the gank works out, uh, smoothly. Um, that's pretty much it. All right. Um, I can say that your mid game is fine. Your Baron calls are fine. Your answering to objectives is fine. Like it's an example, like when you did the assassinations and stuff. But that's only because you're ahead. What if you were behind? You, know, it's kind of hard to to go blue cane when you're behind, obviously. But um, it's like every situ every game is situational, and it's never gonna be the same. Yeah, I I would just go red cane if I'm so behind. Yes, I agree. Um. I think that if you try to threaten for tower and dragons more in the early game, it would be okay. But I think it kind of depends because Dark Harvest requires you to farm more. So it's, it's really hard for me to coach Dark Harvest. And the only reason why is because I, I kind of get screwed in the micro and, and how I path. Because you're required. It's not it's not like it's a, it's a, it's a optional either. You have to farm more. Like... Otherwise, you don't get stacks enough unless you or unless you're Kha'Zix because Kha'Zix just kills people faster than Kane can. It's debatable, but you know what I mean. Um, uh -huh. What else is there? Uh, this guy. How's this guy doing? Okay, he's climbing. That's good. How? Let's see. Go back here. What? 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 Hello? What? Did you change your name? Okay, there it is. <laughs> uh, it just didn't work. Usually, it means it changed your name. Your damage is high. That's good. Um, his. <laughs> Oh my god, see, like these guys just didn't have enough breathing room, so you weren't doing your job in the sense that you weren't giving them enough room to exert pressure. This is a nice item, uh, or not item, uh, thing. Uh, these are fine too, like it's completely normal for you to get those. You can get resolved to make yourself tankier, but this is more for an assassination, it's like early roam kind of thing. Uh, right here, let's see. Jesus, 203 fucking farm. Oh, 1527, Jesus Christ. It's actually pretty crazy. Um... Dark Harvest, uh, what, what did you Yeah, I run Dark Harvest on every... Uh, farm jungler. Assassin jungler. Assassin farm jungler, yep. Yeah. Um, Red Cane with Electrocute is still fine. If you don't, if you agree with that one. It's pretty good. Um, I think that, uh, your strength lies in your mid-game team fighting, which is completely amazing. But you're lack, lacking in early game tracking. Tracking as in, like, you need to know where... Like, I, I don't think that Trundle should have done that stupid-ass path. But, like, yeah, yeah, I get where he's coming from. Because there's there's a new path that people have been using. It's called... It, it's what he's doing. He's You're supposed to do this. You're supposed to do blue. Then you're supposed to do red. And then you're supposed to do gromp. Because then you're getting really close to level 4. Then you take Scuttle and get a gank off. And if you take some EXP from lane, you get level 4 faster. Because he knows, he knows King is gonna steal his blue. Yeah, because... that's that's the other thing. He knew that you were gonna steal blue because your bot lane probably showed up really early to try to push the lane. Yeah, makes sense. 
Um, I recommend looking at, I mean, like, you can just watch Sven's game on how he did, uh, his early game and, like, what he chose to gank and why he chose to gank. Just look up, uh, pro junglers, like, go to pro matches and just check if they're playing Kane, because they will play Kane sometimes, like, aside from this one right now. Um, they'll play Kane sometimes. Uh, sometimes, like, if you can't watch your own VODs or, like, analyze them properly, um, because of decision making, because, like, I see that you're kind of, like, protecting, like, you're defending your, your decisions. That's, that's fine. It's just that, like, sometimes there are decisions that are just better but they can't be done like in the in in the mid game why mm -hmm. you or uh why you chose to go top instead of like why did swain not go top why did fucking ezreal not go top ezreal could just ult top if he had ulti like fuck man he could have just ulted the top to trim the wave that way it slow pushes back and then it forces someone on their team to answer the top and then you four uh four v three them because one person top one person bottom and then three mid one three one <laughs> They could have done yeah. that if Ezreal just trimmed the wave, but he didn't trim the wave. You know, like, 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 you went, you had to answer it yourself. That that was a by, by, uh, like a forced choice. So dumb. Yeah, I have to ping harder. Yeah. Right. You have to ping his R. Ping his R ready. That's the better, uh, better option. I, I would have pinged his R. Like his mm -hmm. R, like just R this top wave. Just like ping, ping harder and then just, uh. Yeah. I would have just pinged his R, uh, a lot harder. Uh, that's just my, uh, that's just my opinion on it. I think that, again, aside from your strength and weaknesses, that, and as well, as well as vision control, um, your early game usage of your trinkets is, is decent, but, uh, more control words in order to control, like, objectives, just, just see them, like, it's a psychological thing, like, you kind of just have to see the objectives in order to, um, yeah. control them. Dragon, Baron, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, mostly dragons. Um, I mean, mostly Baron. Like when it when it came down to it, Baron mattered more than the dragon did, and uh, it kind of got donezoed when uh, your team died for no reason, which is mm -hmm. unfortunate. Not really anything you can do about it, to be honest. But that's pretty much it. Uh, I guess if you found me on YouTube, then uh, it's gonna be on my channel in like two days. Is that cool? Okay. Yeah. Cool. So if you yeah. need, if, if 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 I'm too fast, if I'm slow on anything, if you need to watch it again and like circle, like oh, I see what you mean now. Um, try it out in a few games. Like just like be. When it comes to team fights, just be patient. Oh, geez, four times right. on LP challenger. Being oh. patient doesn't mean like wait, wait for like shit to happen. Just like it's kind of like waiting for shit to happen, but in a sense that you need to bait things out. Like, did Zaya ulti? Yeah, you waited long enough for Zaya to ulti. Now it's your chance to kill her because Zaya has no ulti. Mm -hmm. And she only ults when you're in danger, when you're in her t uh, in her inner way. So that's just an example. Um, right. I recommend you do uh, well. Dustblade got a heavy nerf. I guess Ghostblade's fine. I mean, some people are doing Ghostblade first. Uh, I personally just don't like it, but it's not my it's not my call. Uh, you know, you know, junglers more than I do. I don't build those kind of things on those uh, because I don't I don't play those kind of champions. Like, in the sense that I don't play them actively. I just know what they do because I watch what pros do. And I play with yeah. pros on my main sometimes. And I yeah. see what they do and they replicate it. That's usually how that's usually how you learn a champion. What does a pro player do? Or what does a better player do? Just copy what they do. Because, like, I, I didn't know how to use Kha'Zix double jump. And I learned how to do it. But it was kind of pointless because double jump just looks fancy. You know, like, it's just kind of worthless. Um, yeah. I, learned, uh, I learned how to do... Um, Shaco box pathing and how to bait boxes into one another by just watching other Shaco players do it. So it was pretty cool. And that's pretty much it. Like, you, you got If you're not taking the time to learn how to actively do something, it's, it's like you're not making the effort to get better at all. So you kind of just get stuck in that little area. Okay. Makes sense. Like, you have to you have to make the little bit, bit of effort. And then I'm just guiding you in one direction. Obviously, it doesn't mean I'm 100% correct on everything. Because, like, I can't see the future as far as other people can. Um, I'm not a jungle, like, god. I used to be. But that was because certain aspects of the jungle still remain intact today. The jungle constantly changes. And that's why, like, old mega hard carry jungle players are still complaining. Uh, because, like, now I'm forced to play tanks every game because tanks are just better. Zack, for example, is an, is an example. Uh, Kane is good if you're snowballing and, you know, punish bad players like Seven did right there, blah, blah, blah. Um, also, Kane's fun. That's another thing. All the fun junglers are st st starting to get nerfed, too. And it's just there. So, yeah. Um, you can message me more if you have any questions. I'm going to get going pretty soon. So, hope it helps. Yeah, yeah. Okay.
Yeah, yeah thank you for the lesson. Yeah, if you have any questions, you can you can still feel free to message me. Like I said, it's gonna be on my channel. So if you if you need to watch it again, go for it. I have to reinstall my game pretty soon too. So, um, okay, yeah. Cool. All right. All right. I'll you. catch you later. Bye. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This has been Lol Veggie coaching uh, Kane. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Please subscribe. You can add me on Skype, DM me on Twitter or Discord, and uh, I'll be good. See ya. Yeah.